Hi, I'm Katie. And I'm Brig. With PDQ.com. We're here to talk to you today about DNS. DNS. What is DNS and why do I need to care about it? It's a domain name system and it's important because this is how all of your computers find each other. I mean, there's a way, you can do it with NetBIOS, but DNS is really the preferred method. Superior. So, we're going to go right into configuring DNS. Uh, there's a couple of ways you can do this. You can either click on the DNS here in the dashboard, or you can click on the tools and go to DNS here. Either way. I prefer the tools DNS simply because uh, it's right there instead of having to right click and do all of that. We're going to get rid of this. And this is a, the freshly set up domain controller that in the previous video you we, and Steven set up. Yep. We so, just barely set this little guy up. So we've never even looked at this DNS before. Nope. All right. So our machine name is Crown. So that's also the name of our DNS server. And we, you can see here that we have a bunch of forward zones, lookup zones, trust points, which we're not going to worry about, and conditional forwarders. Again, not going to worry about those last two. What are those first two? What's uh, the difference between forwards and backwards? Forwards is it takes a name like crown and converts that to an IP address. Reversed is just the exact opposite of what you'd think it would do, which takes an IP address and converts that to a name. So if, for instance, when you do like an nslookupgoogle.com, you're actually looking up at the IP address of what google.com, where that actually goes. And the reverse would be looking up at the NS lookup on that IP address for google.com and then that would translate that to that name. And sometimes that'll work, sometimes it won't in the internet simply because there's, just trust us. Sometimes it works <laughs> and sometimes it doesn't. There are reasons why. But we're only going to concern ourselves here with Windows. Um, so we've just set this up, this MS uh, DCS, this is, uh, indicates this is domain controller and this is a domain zone. So uh, this is also an important flavor of DNS, it's Active Directory yes, DNS. DNS. Yes, yeah, very different than say like bind DNS or unbound DNS. Um, so we've got adwhiskeytime.club, which is the domain, the domain name that uh, they set up for the DC in this last one. Uh, this msdcs here, uh, very simple. This is just the name server. And so we've got crown.ad.whiskeytime.club. Yeah, that's it. Is. So that's the actual full name or what we call fully qualified domain name or FQDN for uh, this particular machine. And uh, if we look at this, here are the machines that we have in here. So we have Crown, and that's it. That's all we have. And all we're doing is we're just translating Crown over to that IP address. And that's a simple forward zone. So it's an A record. A stands for like just basically a host record. And uh, there are a number of different records like SOA, Start of Authority, and we've got NS records, but we're not going to really concern ourselves with that because we don't need to do anything with those. We're only concerned here with the host record. Um, one thing that you will notice here is on the reverse lookup zone, you will see that there is nothing here. And do you know why that is, Katie? Yeah. By default, why is there nothing there? Yeah, I don't know. Other than uh, Microsoft decided to ignore the suggestions of an RFC and not automatically <laughs> create a PTR record for these. A PTR just stands for a pointer record. And a pointer record same thing as you reverse. find in reverse lookup zones. Yep, same. same thing. Same exact thing. It's just like how you have forward lookup zones and you have A records or C name records. You, this is just a reverse lookup zone and a PTR record. So uh, on this, we're going to actually create this. So to do that, just create a new zone. Next. This primary is going to be our zone. primary zone. Yep. And we're going to create this for all DNS servers running in this domain. If you were going to set up multiple domains in a forest, you would want to do this, do this at the forest level and select the first option. But yep. simple. We're going to keep it simple here and do this. All right. We're doing IPv4. So reverse lookup zone for IPv4. And now the network ID, which for us, is going to be the first three octets of the IP address of the server. 29.12. That's us. Now what do I choose here? I, I've got uh, dynamic, dynamic updates, updates. non-secure, secure. This seems uh, it mentioned significant security vulnerability. Just, yeah, always just allow secure. Yeah. It's easier in a domain. Just go ahead and do it. All right. And then we're here. Yep. And we finished that. Now we have now, a new zone. You can see this here. Yep. We've got this new zone. And we don't have anything in there right now. So what we want to do is we want to add crown. So very easily, we go back up to our ad.whiskeytime.club. We right click on crown, go to properties, and update associated pointer record. Apply that. Click OK. And there you go. Great. And then we'll refresh that. And now crown is a part of that. So now, one important thing to note that whenever you change a record, um, either in the PTR or here, whenever I right click and I do something in that record, that updates it for all the records. So if we had 100 entries in here and they all had that unchecked, by checking one, it's essentially checking all of them. So you don't need to worry about like having to go through each individual record and then updating the PTR record. It'll automatically just do that for you. All right. Uh, do we want to tackle scavenging? 
Yes. All right. Scavenging is next on our list. So okay. So why do I need to worry about scavenging? All what right. What things does scavenging do for me? Okay. So scavenging, what that does is that removes old records. So you'll have a record in there and it's time stamped. And if you don't set up scavenging, it could be in there for years. days, weeks, years, decades, epochs even. <laughs> I don't know if a computer's been up for an epoch yet, but uh, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so basically, uh, there's three ways that, or there's three things that have to happen w in order to set up scavenging. And you have to set that up on the record. You have to set that up on the zone and you have to set that up on the server. So there's three places that you have to set up scavenging. Uh, the first is the record, but you will not see this unless you go to view and advanced. Don't be afraid. It's fine. Oh, look at all this other extra stuff. Don't worry about that. We're just going to close that out. You don't need to worry about any of that. <laughs> right click properties and delete this record when it becomes stale. And again, this is one of those check marks where if you do it for one, it applies to all. And then you don't need, really need to even worry about record timestamp or anything like that. Just apply and okay. That's the timestamp that's on there. And then what you need to do is you need to do that on the zone. So go here, go to properties and click on aging and enable scavenging here. Uh, the default values are fine. Um, we have other videos that go into greater detail about this, but for purposes of this video, the defaults are fine. And then uh, set that up there. And then finally on the server itself. And if I remember where this is, it's a here. Nope. Enable it's, automatic scavenging of records. Uh, where's that at? Almost there. Uh, uh, sh you drive. Right here. Oh, right there. Yeah. It's right there. Okay. And then apply. And okay. So now we set it up on the record, which uh, again applies to all of them. And we set that up on the zone ad.whiskeytime.club, and we set that up on Crown, the actual server itself. So all three of those need to be set in order for scavenging to work. And scavenging takes some time, so don't expect immediate results. In this case, expect results in about uh, 21 days, anywhere from 14 to 21 days. Uh, you'll see that in the DNS records. You'll be able to see like, oh yeah, scavenging in a or scavenging happened and uh, event viewer logs. So you know that that's set up. We've got one one last thing to set up. We're going to set up okay. forwarders. Forwarders. All right, and what forwarders do is that takes all of your internal, all of your internal machines are going to uh, contact this DNS machine for all of the addressing. That includes Google, Yahoo, whatever, in, in addition to all of the internal computers. And if you don't have forwarders set up, what it's going to do is it's going to say like, I don't really know where to find google.com mm -hmm. because those records do not exist on that particular domain controller. So we set that up here, right click on the server and go to forwarders. And this is where you would put in, uh, you can either put in, one, 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 just tap that, uh, oops, wrong one, and eight, 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 dot, whoop, dot eight. And then there's even like a zero, zero something, I don't know, one of those. But anyway, those are two are fine. That's all we really need. Easy to remember one. Yeah, easy to remember. One's Cloudflare, one's Google. Um, and apply that. And now anything that the server itself cannot find, it will go to the internet to find that. So. Not to the internet DNS yep. servers. Typically, you're going to want to use your ISPs, uh, DNS servers, because that's going to be uh, faster. Uh, but if you're worried about security, you can use like OpenDNS, you can use Google's, you can use Cloudflare's. Uh, there's different uh, layers of security and different speeds that are research that and kind of come up with that on your own. But you basically need those to be external instead of internal. And that pretty much covers everything DNS. Yes. All right. that's, that's setting up DNS. At this point, you yep. should have a fully functioning Happy DNS server serving yep. you names. And uh, next up, I think we're going to be handling DHCP. Yeah. All Looking right. Forward to DHCP. Woo. Yep. All right. Uh, I'm Brick. And I'm Katie. BDQ.com. Thanks. Later.